The coming year is a historic event in many ways. The United Nations has declared the World International Yoga Day. Over fifteen thousand years ago, since Adi Yogi, many things have happened in terms of propagating yoga, in terms of reaching out. Many administrations in the form of kings took to yoga. For the first time, the head of a major nation on the planet is talking about yoga in public, in international forum. And I invite him to address the assembly, Mr. Prime Minister. Yoga keval vyayam bhar na ho kar, apne aap se tatha vishwa va prakruti ke saath tadatmai ko prapta karne ka madhyam hai. This could be a kind of a foundation stone to make scientific approach to the inner well-being of the human being, a worldwide thing. That if you want to be well, you don't have to seek heaven's help, you can turn inward and fix it. This is the message when you say there is a international yoga day, this is what it means, the world is beginning to accept Human well-being is not in heaven, it's within us. It's a tremendous step for the world and for the first time, 177 countries get together to pass a resolution. Never before in the history of United Nations, 177 countries have voted for anything. I want you to understand, this has lived for over 15,000 years without any kind of one organization pushing it or forcing it, simply because of its efficacy, because it works, it's lived. Today, nearly two billion people on the planet are doing some form of yoga. I'm not happy with that. I want the 7.2 billion people to do some form of yoga because in the last hundred years, we have ripped the planet apart, but we are nowhere near well-being. If human well-being has to happen, the only and only way is one has to turn inward, there is really no other way. Because pain and pleasure happens from within you, joy and misery happens from within you. The very light and darkness happens within you. The only space where you generate experience is within. If you don't turn inward, fixing your well-being from this planet is out of question. Today, we have the necessary resource, capability and technology to address every human problem on the planet. Never before was this possible. Only thing that's missing is an inclusive consciousness of human beings. And this is what yoga can do beyond religion, beyond belief systems, beyond caste, creed, race, nationality, people can experience a deep sense of unity within themselves, which is what the world needs. This is a momentous step that humanity is taking. It is time the world turns inward for their well-being, not up, not out, in. In is the only way out. If you want well-being, in is the only way out.